Hey there, Rockstar, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to continue our tour of mod dev in Lectora. Now, if you remember from last time, we started a new Lectora project with a course framework, which gave us a basic course outline here in our project explorer. But now we want to dress this up a bit with a theme. Now, the concept of themes in Lectora is not new. They've been around for quite a while, but we've redesigned themes to work perfectly within the mod dev workflow. So to add a theme to our framework here, we'll go ahead and go to the design ribbon and select this project themes dropdown. Now here we'll find our different options from different styles to different color variants, to options that include navigation and no navigation, depending on our course needs. In my case, where I'm using a course framework that already includes navigation, I'm gonna go ahead and select a theme with no navigation. And as you can see, this adds our theme elements to the top of our project explorer which allows them to carry down to the various different pages within our Lectora project. But I think this theme is not really working for me, so I'm gonna select a new theme. And there you see it swaps out that old one with the new theme applied. Now a couple of improvements we've made to themes with this release is they're now fully mobile responsive, meaning that they'll respond to the different device views here in Lectora. They're also fully built here in Lectora, so meaning all the elements here can be edited directly in the tool, such as this header bar, which I'll change to a different color. You can also control Z that out if you don't like what you see. So now that we have our theme applied, it's time to start building out our course. We'll do that by adding page layouts and wireframe interactions from the Elon Brothers asset library in the next video. So come back for that, and in the meantime, feel free to reach out to us in the Elon Brothers Rockstars community.